Hello and welcome to Hands-On Embedded Linux. I'm your instructor, Doug Abbott. Our objective in this class is to explore tools and techniques for applying the open source Linux operating system to embedded computing devices. What kind of devices? Well, take your pick. Cell phones, medical instrumentation, point of sale terminals, anything that requires a fair amount of computing intelligence. Linux may in fact be the most popular operating system in the embedded space. A recent EE Times survey found that of those embedded projects that use an operating system, 58% use uh, some form of open source OS either with or without uh, commercial support. So fundamentally this class is about applying Linux to embedded computing devices. Um, we'll start out by introducing Linux and the open source philosophy and we'll go actually go through the process of installing Linux on a workstation. Uh, then we'll install a cross-development environment that we can use to build programs on the workstation that run on an ARM target. We'll um, look at using the Eclipse integrated development environment, and we'll use Eclipse to build, run, and debug applications on a typical ARM-based target board. We'll look at configuring and building the Linux kernel which we'll, we'll find is easier than you might think. Uh, then we'll uh, look at getting our final application program onto the board and get it ready to ship as a product. Okay, so let, let's look at the uh, objectives in a little more detail. We'll, we'll set up a cross-development environment on a Linux workstation. We will create, build, and debug applications for the ARM target board using the Eclipse integrated development environment. We will write multi-threaded and networked applications. We'll configure and build the Linux kernel. And finally, we will install and boot our application program on a in real product form. In terms of prerequisites, well, you should be very comfortable with C programming. You'll be writing and modifying a number of C programs in the course of the class. It's certainly helpful to be familiar with Linux, but in any case, we'll take the first couple of lessons to go through some of the basics. So let's take a more detailed look at the topics in our 43 module class. We'll start by introducing Linux and th this whole notion of open source software, what it's all about. And we'll go through the process of installing Linux on, on a typical workstation. Then we'll look at the KDE graphical desktop environment. We'll get into some of the basic features of the Linux command shell. We'll dive into the Eclipse integrated development environment. We will have to do some configuration changes on the workstation, and then we can power up the target board. And at that point, we'll be ready to start building and running target applications using Eclipse. And then, and of course, debugging those applications. And we'll look at a, a, a technique for using simulation to get started on your debugging even before hardware is available. Then we'll look at multi-threading as a way of making a system more uh, responsive. We'll get into networking and the idea of embedded web servers. We'll do some simple graphics programming using a frame buffer device driver. Then we will get into configuring and building the Linux kernel. We'll take a look at two very useful tools in the embedded space, BusyBox and U-Boot. And we will look at um, getting our application code into the final target hardware and essentially getting it ready to ship. And we'll wrap it all up with a review. <laughs> 
So um, naturally, you will need a Linux workstation. And if you can dedicate a computer to Linux, so much the better. But as we'll see in the first lesson, it's fairly easy to set up a system that runs both Windows and Linux in parallel. And that's kind of cool. That's what I do. Now, there's some um, documents you should download from the course website. There is the student guide, the lab setup and exercise guide, and a list of some of the things that can go wrong while you're in the process of setting up your system. So, let's get started. <laughs> 